Now, let me show you how you can delete this user when you click on this delete button. I'm using the same update technique to delete the record from the MongoDB database. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open my reducer and create a new reducer to delete a record. So when I click on this button, I'm going to pass the current ID of the user to the reducer. And using that ID, I'm going to delete that user. So here inside this reducer, I'm going to create a new action. So I'm going to specify action name, delete action. That's upon you, you can specify any name to this action. And I'm going to specify here a function. Just out of that, to this action, we specify two properties, state and action. And using the state, you can get the current state. So I'm going to say here, state dot client. And then I'm going to access a new property. So let me specify that new property to the initial state. Here, I'm going to pass comma and specify delete ID. And then specify here colon and then specify here null. The default value of this delete ID is null. So let me just specify here at client dot delete ID is equal to action dot payload. Now when you call this delete action, I'm going to pass value to this delete ID. And when we have value to this delete ID, then I'm going to delete that record. So let me first save these changes back to the table. Here you can see right down here, we have the delete button. Let me call here on click event to this button. So we pass here on click and inside this here I'm going to say on delete. Let me create this handler function. So at the top here I'm going to say constant on delete and then I'm going to pass here the handler function. And then here I'm going to say if the form is not visible then execute the delete action. So I'm going to say here if if the form is not visible only then delete the record. So I'm going to say here dispatch and inside this dispatch function you call the delete action so at the top here you need to import that first you call this delete action right here but wait you need to first export this delete action right down here you need to call comma and pass delete action save this file back to the table call import this delete action right here scroll down and then specify that delete action inside this dispatch something like this and then you pass your id to this delete action now this is going to change the value of this delete ID and here you have the current user ID when you click on this delete button. I want to ask the user that really want to delete the record. If he click on yes, then we delete the record. Otherwise cancel the transaction. So I'm going to open my pages and here I have the index.js file. So inside this index.js right here, I'm going to create a new component. So scroll down right down here. I'm going to say function delete component and then I'm going to pass here return statement. And using this return statement, I'm going to return a div with some tailwind classes. So we specify here flex, gap is going to be 5. Inside this div, I'm going to first add a paragraph and then say, are you sure? And then create here two buttons. So the first button is yes. And then second button is no. Let me save this, copy this delete component and specify that just after this division tag, write down something like this. Save this file back to the project and you can see you're going to have this question here. Let me specify some styling to it. So to this button, we specify class name flex bg red 500 text is going to be white padding x4 padding y2 that I'm going to specify border rounded md and I'm going to add some hover effect. So I'm going to say here hover bg rows 500 and when the user hover on this button i'm also going to change the border color border red 500 and hover text gray 50. let me copy all these classes and then specify that to this second button so we specify your class name and specify all these classes here but what i want instead of specifying this red color now i'm going to change this to green so instead of bg red we pass here green let me do the same for these colors so here i'm going to pass hover bg green border is going to be green and i'm going to leave everything as it is let me save this back to the project and you can see i'm going to have this result oops i think i misspelled something here it's green you can see i'm going to have the result now instead of this paragraph if, if i specify here button then i don't have to specify any space to this question now, once we have the UI, when the user click on this yes button, then we are going to delete the record. When the user click on this no button, then we are going to cancel the transaction. 
but before that let me add an icon to this yes and to this no button let me just click on this yes and no here i'm going to add a span tag to this yes with some classes so i'm going to specify class name padding x1 and inside this span tag right here i'm going to specify the icon i'm using here bi x icon let me import this icon at the top so let me copy this and specify that at the top right here do the same for this second button so let me copy this span tag and specify that right here and instead of bix i'm going to specify here bi check and then import that right up here you can see i'm going to have these icons here what i want when the user click on this yes button i'm going to execute the handler function so we are going to create these handler functions inside this parent component so to this delete component we are going to pass that handler functions so here i'm going to say delete handler and we're also going to say cancel handler now when the user click on this no button i'm going to call this cancel handler when the user click on this yes button i'm going to call this delete handler and we are going to create both these handlers inside this parent component let me pass this first to this buttons so here to this first button we specify on click delete handler and to this no button we pass on click cancel handler and at the top right up here you need to pass both this handler functions to this component so right up here i'm going to say constant cancel handler is equal to and then i'm going to create here a function something like this and then you also need to create a delete handler so right up here you need to say constant delete handler is equal to and then pass the function here and then you have to pass both these functions to this delete component so i'm going to just copy this object and then specify that right here so inside this delete user i'm going to call my helper function this one delete user if you want you can call here a mutation as well and then specify your delete function to it that is the exercise for you you have to call this delete user inside a mutation and then specify to this delete handler just for now i'm directly going to call this function so here i'm going to first say async and inside this delete handler i'm going to say await delete user now because i don't have this delete user we need to first import that so i'm going to first import this and then here i'm going to call this delete user but as you know to this delete user we need to pass the user id so to get the user id right here at the top here as you know we can get the user id using this statement so i'm going to say here constant delete id is equal to use selector and inside this i'm going to say state and return state dot app dot client and using this client i can access this variable delete id so i'm going to just specify here dot delete id so this statement is going to return the user id to this delete id and then inside this delete handler i'm going to say if we have this delete id only then execute this if statement and once you delete the user i'm going to update my data at the top right up here i'm going to say use query client from react query and then i'm using this use query client right here so i'm going to say constant query client is equal to use query client and using this i'm going to update the records so right down here inside this delete handler i'm going to say await query client dot prefetch query and i'm going to prefetch the query users and then here i'm going to specify my users function this one get users so let me pass that right up here get users and then i'm going to pass that to this query client and after that i'm going to say await dispatch delete action so we need to first import the delete action so at the top right up here i'm going to say comma delete action copy this delete action and then specify that right here and then specify value null so i'm going to just specify the initial value to this delete action once the data is successfully deleted just after that to this cancel handler here i'm going to say console.log cancel and then i'm going to say await dispatch delete action and then specify here now 
don't forget to specify here a sync because this is the synchronous function back to the project and reload it now what i want when i click on this button only then i want to display this message so inside this project right inside this return statement here instead of this delete component i'm only going to display this delete component when i have value inside the delete id so let me first cut this statement and here i'm going to say delete id if i have a value here then return this delete component otherwise return nothing save this and now when i click on this delete button you can see i'm going to have this question are you sure you want to delete this record when i click on this no it's going to hide this component and inside this console you can see we have this cancel message but if i click on yes it's going to delete this record let me show you when i click on this delete button i'm going to have this component and when i click on this yes oops i think i misspelled something yeah i forgot to specify here user id as you know inside this helper function here to this delete user you need to pass the user id you're going to have this user id right here so you pass here delete id here something like this let me save this reload the browser and now when i click on this delete button and click on this yes you can see it's going to delete this record when i reload the browser now i'm only going to have two records inside my database so this is going to delete this record completely from the back end so now i hope you understand how you can read update delete and create a new record using the mongodb database if you have any question related to this topic don't forget to comment if you find anything useful don't forget to press the like button share this video with your friends subscribe for more latest videos that is all for now i will see you in the next one